Friday. There we go. And hi, hello, how are you? This is your favorite podcast, Questions and Queries. Yes, I made that decision for you. And today <laughs> I am the missing 14th tape. It is me, Miles. And I am here with our panel of distinguished judges. We have Jeff again. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Perfect. I Very thought you, seamless. Awesome. Yeah, I thought you were going to introduce both of us, and then I was like, oh, you're, you're waiting for me to respond. I'm giving you a shot to say hi. <laughs> and we have Amber. Hello, I'm back from my you're alive. unintentional hiatus. Um, I'm still mildly upset that no one from Finland has said anything to me yet. I'm still Take on that. Their games. I have been thinking about it. I think about it at least twice a week. So okay. So Finnish people, you've heard it here first. Where are you at? Is yeah, I want to know how you found us. Okay. I'm All fixated right. on this. And today it is honestly my favorite challenge. It is Rusical Challenge. And so we are talking some Mulan Ru today. Um, but before we get into that. Uh, Amber, you weren't here last week. How did you feel about the lip sync Lala Perusa Smackdown? It was so cool. I loved it. Okay. I really did. Yeah. It was probably one of my favorite episodes. Like, I don't know. It was just cool. Like I liked the lip syncing and like the dancing and stuff like that. Mm. So it was probably one of my favorite episodes for sure. Do you think the right person went home that week? Um, wait, who went home again? I'm <laughs> I Jasmine forgot. Kennedy. Oh, Jasmine. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. My girlfriend was so excited about it. I don't know how I like forgot about that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Honestly, yeah. I'm not, I wasn't a huge Jasmine fan, so I was okay with it. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So top of the episode, we can start off. Uh, and oh. yeah. Girls walk in, and we are finally at a top seven. It took us like a month to get here, but there's at least finally someone went home. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> here we are. And Jasmine, gone but not forgotten, can't speak really long, but did write a novel of a mirror message on the mirror. <laughs> I was like, dang, man, like, even when you're gone, you're still going to take up all the airtime. Like, <laughs> yeah. work. She made Bosco work for that, cleaning no. all that up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when Ben got eliminated in season six, she's just like, I reserve just enough pennies to write a long mirror message that you're just going to have to clean and clean and clean. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this, is, this feels accurate for Jasmine's departure. And right. Very yeah. Fitting. <laughs> Deja's feeling her oats because she got free tickets to a concert basically last week. Um, yep. <laughs> didn't have to do anything. <laughs> and we find out that this week is the Rusical Challenge. And not just any Rusical, we are doing the Mulan Rue musical, um, which honestly is the best pun they've come up with for <laughs> this kind of challenge so far. I was like, that worked out really nicely. Nice. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Big kudos yeah. to the editors and writers. <laughs> And we, Rue then says that they get to decide what the roles for the show <laughs> is. And my God, this was messy. <laughs> it was messy. The drama. Oh, man. It's probably the was... most drama we've had all season. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen kindergartners in grade ones do better group work <laughs> than this group did. <laughs> seriously yeah like, everyone was putting their foot down i was i'm starting to think i just seeing their flock of ostriches on my screen because everyone was just like <laughs> no, no this is what i want and i'm like okay yeah. i my favorite part about this was deja being like all right i want a challenge i was really nice I want nerve. And everyone's like, none of us want nerve. And she's like, okay, work. Like, <laughs> we'll go for it. That yeah. was lucky. And Zaya did the same thing. I want uniqueness, period. Yeah. And, yeah. and everybody was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Nobody wanted then, it. So nope. that was okay. But yeah. they, they were both sort of a, a bully in a way to just be like, this is what I want, period. No discussion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was just shocking to me how these queens acted and there was no fairness, no 
it, it was just very blunt and yeah. bold and like fight for yeah your dog, Auto, dog. <laughs> i'm okay with this though because i yeah. understand that we kind of are reaching the you know pointy end of the game mm -hmm. and like you need to do you gotta what start you feel. thinking of yourself <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah and so I, I also love how so then we get to the ultimate smackdown which is camden v bosco because they both wanted saltine and <laughs> this had me like <laughs> it was, i was a really goop the gag especially when Cam yeah. was like there's just a lot of lines here and i'm gonna ha have no trouble remembering them and boss was like yep you're not because you're not gonna get the part and i was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> well then <laughs> yeah I, um, I, I, and i don't know where that came from it might have been a little bit of daya's influence but oh she, it, i haven't that, seen her like this before and then right. all of a sudden she exploded and i was like yeah, yeah. This, a lot of pent up bitch come from <laughs> yeah a lot of pent up anger and she's like all right it's time we're right. done yeah. <laughs> and then daya was like the little devil on a soldier and i was like yes. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah okay like yes feed into it <laughs> and so and then they decide that they should vote on it and at first yeah. Cam was like can we do a secret ballot and then boss was like no i want to see who voted yeah like, damn <laughs> like, and i what? felt so bad for willow because my heart i love oh. willow oh and i felt so bad she had to be the tiebreaker and just and then like her like comment when she was just not, like well bosco would have taken it harder or whatever it's like oh shit yeah not only was bosco the tiebreaker daya forced willow to be the tiebreaker i know daya only voted for bosco just so she could make willow be the yeah drama. literally stirring the pot like she yes. was definitely stirring the pot on purpose i was like damn sure. daya do you want do you want a spoon while you're at it like, right. go ham Get over there a ladle and just <laughs> that's exactly what she was doing just stirring yeah. the pot yeah oh yeah her into this decision so yeah Deja, she did not give a fuck she's like i got my part let's see we'll just right. cause some more drama here yeah, yeah. So, so we yeah. end up with votes being that um angie and um uh, well yeah. no yeah angie and daya yeah. voted for bosco for assault team i will say Angie's reasoning was smarter because she was like, I feel like you could do the other part better than Bosco can. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I, I can respect that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then George's was not feeling Bosco at all this episode. Yeah. She's like, you're Lots rude. Of shade. And I was like, okay. So then George's and Deja uh, Deja voted, voted for, for Camden, Camden to be saltine, which means Willow had to break the tie. And she voted for Bosco to be saltine. And yeah. she said, I only chose Bosco because I knew Bosco would take it harder if she didn't get the role. Yeah. <laughs> Which well, was kind of passive aggressive and not the yeah. best yeah. way to choose. Way to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so now Camden is mad and she's like soaking in the workroom. <laughs> like, yeah, like in her own little corner, just uh, like fucking leave me alone. <laughs> Let me do my thing. <laughs> and I understood this moment so hard because as a theater gay, I understand not getting the part you want <laughs> and how that affects your psyche a little bit for a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, Camden, I know what this feels like. <laughs> yeah. And she said, fuck all y'all. And that includes Georges and Deja who voted for her. So, right. yeah. so they didn't really deserve that kind of attack. But she's Seriously. like, you better fucking bring it, bitch, because I really wanted that part and you better turn it out. Oh, no. Camden <laughs> threw down the gauntlet. She's like, okay. She's like, she like threw out some pearls on the stage. She was like, don't slip. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay yeah. <laughs> which is also um, a side of her that we hadn't seen yet mm -hmm. so yeah I, th maybe there was a full moon this night i don't know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no the claws came out this episode everyone's like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like okay <laughs> um so we move on to rehearsal i don't have a picture for this because like we don't really miss anything in rehearsal just bosco talks about how her grandma was one of the original rockettes which is kind of cool that's uh, cool um, yeah. didn't expect that and camden flexes with her ballet skills like every dance challenge <laughs> um <laughs> nothing really new there georges is georges um yeah 
Yeah, I I did feel like the need to really cover rehearsals because we don't really see anything happen. Yeah. Um, so before we get into this performance, what are some of our favorite musicals, some of our favorite rusicals? Um, opinions and thoughts on that. Well, I am not a musical theater gay. Oh, so you're just uh, George's gay. You're like, oh, I don't like musicals. I no, I never, like singing. Ugh. That's not what I said. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't say I didn't like them. I just said I was not a theater gay. Um, <laughs> So you don't find music- them, you don't find them annoying like Georges does. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like they're fine. Like I'm not gonna go out of my way to watch it unless like I'm hanging out with Jake and he's like, we're gonna watch this because that was supposed to happen and it never did. But um, I have watched musicals. Say um, his name. <laughs> I know, Jake, what the heck? <laughs> where are you? Just <laughs> anyways, <laughs> we're like, we know where you are. Um no, but I do like, I like Hamilton. I love Lin-Manuel. Very base, yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Very basic. Um, and then <laughs> I um, like Into the Woods. I don't think that's like technically a musical. It is. <laughs> like, why, why is it not a musical? That's an absolutely a musical. I don't know. Is it? I don't remember yeah. if it's. That's one of Sondheim's musicals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I like that one too. I saw that one in theater. So it was great. Nice. Oh, you <laughs> yeah. saw the movie version. Understood. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Trying to keep my theater elitism to a, a low today. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Judge me um, all you want. It's fine. No, it's okay though, because like when George was like, ugh, musicals, I was like, oh, he's like, I hate people like this. And then Talon, who doesn't tell my boyfriend, who doesn't even like musicals, he's like, she's kind of right. And I'm like, don't talk to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I looked from the Peter Gallery over there. <laughs> right. Um, I will have to say, my two favorites that are kind of butting heads right now is I love Heather's the musical because it's fantastic. Um, and then I am been really obsessed with Hades Town the last couple of months. That's been my like go-to in the morning, which is kind of the retelling of Orpheus and Eurydice, and it's super fun. And the um the chorus is really great in that, and the song's really great. Um, Jeff, thoughts on musicals? Because I know you're a theater gay. I definitely am. I could go on for hours about musicals. That that'll have to be another podcast that we do. Love that. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> and I wrote that down as soon as Georgia said that. I'm like, yep. I knew I hated that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> tell us how you tell really feel. Yeah, tell tell you, I'll tell you how I really you feel. feel later after the podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, okay. that. <laughs> no, it is that. That's about as harsh as I get. I just there's something about her I don't like. I said it on the last podcast. Uh, you weren't here, Amber, but. Uh, yeah. There's just something about her that rubs me the wrong way. And that was yeah. just another thing to add to my list of why <laughs> yeah. I knew that that feeling was there. And, and now I'm writing why I what, like where that feeling is coming from. My favorite musical of all times is Rent. Uh, I saw it in New York and I saw mm-hmm. it in Toronto. And mm-hmm. it's just so from start to finish it's so great the music is phenomenal however if you're a movie person and you've only seen the movie you probably won't love it the way I do you kind of have to see the stage production the movie kind of turned it into a let's make it an interesting movie for people who don't like musicals as well as the people who do and the okay. musical is in its true form by jonathan larson that's the way you got to see it if, if mm-hmm. you really want to enjoy Although, it. something the movie does really well is it has most of the original cast right uh, it does that was very okay. exciting yeah but they cut a lot of really good songs and and changed a lot of things and it just didn't have the same feel unfortunately it's still great don't get me wrong right but nowhere I do think, near as good as the musical i do think rent is one of those musicals where you have to be within the zeitgeist of its um popularity to really enjoy it because i know from me coming into it like you know getting into it like 10 20 years after it got really popular is it kind of reads as all these people are complaining that they have wealthy parents who are trying to take care of them and it's just not <laughs> relatable content right right yeah. and it's like and aids is not nearly the scary beast that right. it was i, I think then. that's still that still hits emotionally um right at least the, that plot line i just like with them being like oh well i'm an artist and the man's trying to keep me down so i'm not gonna pay rents and i'm like brah like <laughs> come on yeah <laughs> and the other one i love is little shop of horrors i love little shop it is 
such a good musical the music slaps so hard yes. i've always wanted to be one of the like three narrator girls like <laughs> my favorite parts ever um I, I did a self collab where i played all three of the girls and seymour and mushnick and, oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. and it's awesome i learned all the harmonies so yeah I, de- I definitely stay in little shop and it's one, one that doesn't get old it you can watch yeah. it today and it's still just as fun and- it still holds up oh yeah and the yeah. music is fantastic so <laughs> nice as for a as for the other side of this coin what amber i know you don't have a lot to say on this but jeff what are what is your favorite rusical from a past season um i think this is the longest one that we've ever had and yeah. i i really liked that because they didn't just try to cut a bunch of clips together and mm-hmm. you know in and out and let's get to the lip sync for your life Mm -hmm. uh they really took their time with this one there was lots of character development aside from the four the c-u-n-t queens yeah (laughs) yeah but there i mean we'll get into it but yes continue (laughs) um but i'm trying to think back i know there have been many that i have enjoyed uh but i can't nothing is standing out to me right now of what Mm -hmm. was my favorite um what what are yours because if i hear some of them i'll remember so refresh my, my memory. all-time favorite is the season eight musical bitch perfect oh, okay um, yeah the acapella musical is just it's so good and as someone who did like eight years of musical theater and then i did four years of acapella in college it just it fits that sweet spot so nicely for me i'm like oh, yes um <laughs> i also I know this is kind of an underrated one or or overlooked one i love the glamazonian airways musical i cannot tell you why but i love the like the mix of just them all being like flight attendants <laughs> oh yeah i that, i really love it <laughs> that was really neat uh, um, and, and anything that alaska's in because her lyrics are so clever uh when they yeah. write their own lyrics and then they perform them on stage i i really liked hers hers sticks out to me <laughs> yeah that's fair so. But um, this one, I think this one will go down in history as a as one of the best ones. This is definitely top three musical material. Like this was really fun. And yeah. without getting to the characters actually, um, and the performances. So first up, we have our four girls, Curse and Uniqueness, Nerve and Talent, which are obviously parroting um the iconic music video of <laughs> Lady Marmalade. <laughs> um like there are four singers in that, there's four singers in this, you know, one's clearly, you know, the little Kim, one's clearly pink, one's clearly Christina, like, you know, they're all there and kind of parodies of that. Um, how did we feel about this group of four? Like who were standouts, who kind of flopped? Thoughts? I uh, thought Daya and um, Angeria stood out for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and Georges was just kind of like normal Georges stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I agree. So. <laughs> I, I thought her performance was quite flat. It was just, yeah. it started off Not well just... when she did that first move and when she mm-hmm. said talent and she did that little yeah. move. Mm-hmm. And then after that, she just kind of, I was Flat like, you're, you're supposed to be Christina Aguilera. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's the biggest diva of all these bitches. And you yeah. were you were the flattest, so it really yeah. didn't fit. Uh, Not thought, to mention that uh, George just forgot the words like halfway through her bit. And I was like, "Ma'am, this is a lip sync challenge. You got to know the words." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Daya, yeah. I thought was pretty strong in this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Angeria was she's always solid. She gave a solid performance. Yeah. And Deja uh, started weak in, when she was in the ensemble. Her moves were a little bit behind, and she didn't. Mm. She wasn't really shining. As soon as she brought those dogs out on a leash, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm here for this. And then yeah. she came alive. So she brought the I house agree. down. <laughs> yeah. Daya also managed to take advantage of small moments, which was really smart of hers. Mm-hmm. Like even when she wasn't doing anything big, she made sure to like, you know, eat the scenery a little bit more um yeah. angie did this too i still love when the ding dang dong happens and she like stands up while all the other girls squat down i was like smart <laughs> like get the uh, vision on you great i agree with deja at the beginning she like was just kind of part of the ensemble but when she had her solo both mm-hmm. uh, both my boyfriend and i we were both like okay 
yeah. okay like we were both really yeah. into it yes <laughs> to the point where i had almost convinced myself that deja deserved the top spot this week oh um, yeah <laughs> which I'll get to in a second. <laughs> because... if, if she had brought that energy throughout the whole performance, she very well could have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we get to the other three of this musical, which are Willow, Bosco, and Camden. Yeah. Um, Willow as the Green Fairy, I had more expectations for. It kind of yeah. felt a little lack of energy. Yeah, yeah. reserved. Yeah, and it so, definitely was pretty reserved. I was a little surprised when they gave her such high praise at the end, because I was like, honestly, at best, Willow for me was safe. Um, yeah. And I just, there, you could have done more with it. You're like this, like, wild trip of hallucinogenics. Yeah. <laughs> and you're Willow just going to be like, crazy. Yeah. big. Like, you're, this yeah. is like a crazy scene of the musical. Use yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um whoever um someone who did use it a lot camden ate the entire scenery the curtains yeah. the stage the yeah. prop director like <laughs> camden was like this is my moment <laughs> yeah she camden was, was so amazing good. i'm mm -hmm. so glad she ended up with that part yeah like, for sure i was so happy because in at the end of the last podcast that we did uh i said that i had chose camden as my winner pick okay. of the season and then she came and did this and won mm -hmm. and she showed that a true performer can take any role any part. not mm -hmm. necessarily the one that you wanted but step into right. any other role right. and yep. give it your all and look what happened and i yeah. really i appreciated that no i agree like she from like the facial expressions to the very clean like choreography, like there wasn't a single flaw in this performance for Camden. Yeah. And clearly the MVP of the week. Um, <laughs> and then we get to Bosco as Saltine, which if you ask me was the driest Saltine I've ever experienced. Um, <laughs> it, it just wasn't there like you're the nicole kidman role like yeah well and it's like and for as much as bosco fought for that mm -hmm, spot mm -hmm. i had way higher expectations right and then just like the fact that um i know like michelle kind of like said this when she was judging like with the eyebrows like it was like a very bosco thing and it wasn't the character that bosco was supposed to be playing um so like yeah so it was just kind of like I don't know. I was kind of, I was disappointed with it. I, the yeah. eyebrows thing, I didn't have a big problem with because I felt like it's right. still the aesthetic of the atmosphere that they are in. Yeah. So I was like, fair. okay, like, fine. I, so when Michelle brought that up, I was like, eh, I don't think that was the issue here. Um, yeah. I will say the best moment with Bosco's performance was when she was in the chair tripping. Like, yeah. They, like, trying to like stay awake but also like having like the effects of like the absinthe like affect her yeah and, like, like, squinting at stuff like that was hilarious yeah I was like okay this is a yeah. good moment but the rest of it just didn't add up yeah um also loved Leslie Jordan this episode oh my gosh yes I mean honestly he should have been the green fairy but <laughs> no, <nonetheless. sorry. laughs> um gosh and that he was like the like the evil love interest in the musical yeah. too that had me howling yeah <laughs> me too the the duke of dickington yeah. <laughs> yeah i was like this is great he, <laughs> he always gets me no matter what he does I, i'm a huge fan of yeah Jesse jordan um back to bosco i didn't think it was as bad as the judges said um i agree there were things my boyfriend hated the eyebrows um uh the i think she overacts sometimes i agree she and, does in her lip syncs too and she took her vision of the role i think is what the problem was she took the slutty side of satine from the movie uh and really went with that and didn't have the didn't capture really? the softer side because yes she's a courtesan but she doesn't want to be that she wants to fall in love and be with a, a, be a nice guy and be an actress she only yeah. does the slutty stuff because she has to and that's how she earns right. a living. she would die here's the thing that. though <laughs> i feel like bosco could have been sluttier 
Like, really? I did not think there was enough sex <laughs> in that performance. And I was like, if you're saltine, like, I want you to, you know, put a little shoulder, come on up and fuck me in the ass sometime. Oh, you know, like, come, like, I want you to be like, a slut. <laughs> and I was like, really if, disappointed. If if you're gonna go that route, then yeah, go that route. I agree. Uh, I, I I don't think she totally embodied. Right. I I don't think she had a fully realized vision and concept of the character, even though she yeah. wanted it so badly. <laughs> yeah, I will say the um the cover girl cover that was parroting Roxanne. That was great. <laughs> like. This is one of my yes. favorite musicals to watch. I was like, because it's just a lot of fun. Me too. And so <laughs> I was really hoping we would actually get a uh, Moulin Rouge lip sync for the week. And then yeah. we'll get to it. I was confused, to say the least. That um, would have been awesome. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like if Bosco wanted to be the slut, then she needed to have done more with that. And yeah. it just wasn't enough for me on either ends of the spectrum of the character. I agree. Um, Wait, okay, so if you felt that Bosco wasn't that bad, then my question for you, Jeff, is do you still think she deserved a bottom two slot or no? That's a really good question. And it's a tough call because I think everybody did a good performance. Yeah, George agreed. It was the flattest for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but after that, it is really hard to pick another person. Mm -hmm. um, I, and everybody else I thought was good um willow i thought again was good but i agree with you i think it's the legs like she just doesn't have any energy in her movement i noticed that my yeah. part my partner hates her runway she can't walk like very well but her face is good and it was funny uh -huh. how yeah. the music sped up and she's like say that again and then she did it all like a double time yeah. and then quadruple time that was yeah. funny yeah um, so i probably wouldn't put her in the bottom i would probably still put bosco there but mm -hmm. I don't think it was nearly as bad as everybody was going on about. I, mm -hmm. I, you know, I just wanted to say like, it wasn't that bad guys. It was still good. Yeah. <laughs> um, fair enough. You know what I mean? And but, yeah. I think that's a fair point. Like, I don't think anyone completely flopped this challenge. Right. Like they were all serviceable performances. It's just when everyone's good, someone's clearly going to end up in the bottom. Exactly. Um, I would still pay to go see Bosco, for example. Yeah. yeah right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But the yeah, other one's just shone a little bit brighter. Yeah. And Camden definitely was the shooting star in this whole group. Oh. <laughs> no one even came close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. All right. And then that's the challenge judges this week. Um, Michelle in the ugliest outfit I've ever seen her I, in. Really? I wasn't a fan of what anyone was wearing. I was like, <laughs> like Rue walked out and Missy and I were watching it and we were just like, what? So this is the cover yeah. look for Rue's newest album that's that came out this year. Oh. It looks better there than it does here. It um, looks like duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny. Uh, when Rue walked out, um my boyfriend was like yes and i was like ew like yeah. we have totally different <laughs> opinions on this i was like i don't like this she looks like a cheap like blow-up doll and i was like i'm not into this yeah he really does look like a plastic doll in this even in this picture yeah, uh -huh. yeah. i was like I, i'm not a fan yeah i um, like the colors but uh yeah, yeah the material yeah. is just like a little too it looks shiny. Like yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like neck up, I really liked it, but everything under, yeah. I was like, uh, no. Yeah. Ross, Ross is in his like varsity jacket phase. Like every yeah. <laughs> other episode, he's has just like a letterman on. And I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Is this like from Riverdale? I think he's, he's reliving his the youth. R there. <laughs> Ross lost all that weight and he's like, cool, I can feel my jock fantasy now. And I'm like, yes. Yes. <laughs> He looks off, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then, and anyone then know who this guest judge is? Andra Day. No uh, idea. I don't know her. I, I had to write her name down or I would have forgotten okay. who she was. <laughs> I, she was, it was on those faces where I'm like, you look familiar. I just can't place you from where you're actually from or what you're famous for. Me neither. I, I love the boots, I will say. I will say I love this jacket, very Utica sleeping ball gown, mm -hmm. uh, sleeping bag gown. Um, but sorry, girl, 
don't know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's bring it to the runway. Runway, run, 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 runway. Um, <laughs> first, uh, I she's not first, but the first picture is Angie, who I think understood the assignment the best out of all the yeah. girls. Uh, yeah. When she brought it on the corner, both my boyfriend and I were like, oh, wow. Like, it was just really breathtaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we we did, did some... Go ahead. We did the same thing. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Like, every time she comes on the runway, almost, we, we do the same thing. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And I've been seeing some, like, discourse in the internet, they were like, well, it's not really Mirror. And I was like, okay, sure. But it kind of reminded me of, like, Ice, which in a way it's its own mirror. So I'm like, I yeah. still thought it fit the brief. Like, yeah. Um, you can uh, see your reflection in the ice for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, next up is Bosco, whom I'm glad they finally read for wearing the same silhouette. Because yeah. I was, I was like, like this finally. Is, this is kind of getting out of hand. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We mm -hmm. were tired yeah. of it last week, and here right. she is again. Yep. You can't be a Judy Jetson hooker every single week on the runway, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, it's a fine look. It's just the fact that it's been the same kind of look four weeks in a row is kind of getting to me at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's like you're getting further in the competition. Like, you got to shake Do it up a little bit. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Step it up, girl. Speaking of stepping it up and shaking up, Daya comes out in this kiss inspired look. Yeah. This was so good. I'm I not even yeah. trying to stand, but this was great. I, <laughs> I was yeah, like, <laughs> I really like it. I love it too. She's going to poke somebody's eye out, but I don't care. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, please make sure safety goggles are worn on the runway today. Thank yeah. you. Um, no, it was so good. And it also has like reflective material. So I, it still fit the theme. Mm -hmm. um, next up, we have Deja, who I don't think this is the best look, but I, when it initially happened, I was like, okay, like I, I see what you're yeah. doing here. Mm -hmm. And then Ross was like, I don't get how this is mirror, mirror. And I'm like, Ross, she has a, she had a mirror in her hand. Like, I don't know how more on the nose it can right. be. Yeah. I was a little confused with the critiques on her because I was like, yeah, it's not the prettiest, but like it fits right. the assignment. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it's there. <laughs> it is reflective. Yeah, I I, yeah. Can, I, yeah. I can see the the light shining off of it. It's just a little bit um, caution tape esque. <laughs> yeah, like it, it the way that it hangs. And yeah. I, th I think somebody said you just want to the go length like this of the gown is it. a little. Yeah, yeah, it just looks a little weak <laughs> the way yeah. that it's put together. But I like the colors. I love the right. crown um yeah she I, I think she just could have done a little bit more here Agreed. Yeah, definitely. um next up on the last three runways we have georges who confused me this week because Same. i had a hard time understanding how this fit the assignment and then ross after saying that they just runway doesn't fit the assignment praised this and i was yeah. a little confused <laughs> I was yeah. like, wait a minute. This is a little tinsel town, like wrapped around your body. Like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like she looks nice. Her makeup is always good. Her hair right. looks okay. But yeah, this I don't see any reflection here. <laughs> I don't see anything about mirrors yeah. on this yeah. outfit. No, I was I was a little confused with the praise on this outfit because I'm like, this doesn't read mirror to me. Right. At all. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> um Next up, we have Lady Camden, who actually understood the assignment, um, had pieces of mirror all over the jacket. The headpiece was reflective. She yeah. said it was inspired by Lil Prince, which I understood um, mm -hmm. because I read that story as a kid. So <laughs> this was a well-executed runway for Miss yeah. Camden today. I liked it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. I love the hair. The hair is so mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. So oh, well yeah. Done. Um. And then we have Willow, who Willow. really confused me. I know. I was so sad because I love Willow. And I was like, girl, it's not it I, this week. I, I don't see Mirror in this. I um, don't. Yeah. I, I don't know what this is, but like. It would be cool for like a 4th of July thing. Yeah. But then what about 4th of July means Mirror, Mirror? You know? Right. No, it's like, Yeah. <laughs> exactly and, so for this it didn't 
It didn't. Yeah. It didn't say mirror mirror. No. And it's sort of. I feel like I can hear Fifi saying, "Go back to Party City." <laughs> right. I said I felt. Um, <laughs> I just. And then again, the judges confused me because they praised this outfit, and I was like, "Really? Yeah. Like, like this, compared to all the other not ones, fit the assignment." Yeah. Yeah, my partner and I were both like the same as you. Like, why are they praising this? I don't get it. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which confirms that Willow makes top four because there's no way that they kind of praise an outfit that doesn't fit the assignment unless they're pushing her to make it to the end. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I do really like her and I think she's very unique and brings right. a lot to the table. Yeah. But I definitely didn't like this look. <laughs> no, yeah, this week wasn't I, quite her week. <laughs> this is yeah. bad. This is really yeah. bad. And bad. her runway walk really needs, like, she needs some coaching on that. Yeah. Where's Alyssa Edwards when you need her. Exactly. You know, like... <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. Could you imagine they brought Naomi as a runway coach in? Ah, uh, that would be amazing. Amber, I cannot wait for you to watch season eight because the icon that Naomi Smalls is just, oh. <laughs> uh, you know, I need to get on uh, it. <laughs> um. <laughs> I wish we lived closer. I would watch them all with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. We just tell a party it. Right. Let's do it. All right. So that's a wrap on these runways. And then Rue asks my favorite question. Yes. Because uh, I yeah. love the responses you get out of this. Ladies, who should go home tonight? And why? Oh. And this is truly the assassination of Bosco. Um, yeah. <laughs> It like, really is. Camden was too nice, first of all, because she was just like, oh, well, Bosco kind of performed the worst this week. So I would have been like, Bosco made my life living hell trying to get this role. She yeah. needs to go home for not performing. Yeah. Um, everyone says Bosco, except for Bosco who says George's books of track record. Cool. And then George's <laughs> comes in. <laughs> And straight up <laughs> annihilates Boss. Yeah, I'm because... sorry. I'm not a huge George's fan, but that was fucking amazing. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> she says, stands there and says, well, if we want to talk about track record, Bosco was three times in the bottom in one episode. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, there okay. it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah she said it <laughs> yeah bosco kind of set herself up for that one though yeah. like i guarantee you if bosco didn't say shit about georgia's track record that yep. comment would not have happened so no nope. nope. that definitely was... did it to herself like not a georgia's fan but that moment i'm like i was like yes georgia yeah in that moment i was her. like okay <laughs> like yeah you're attacking my hometown queen but you better get her get yeah. her <laughs> like... <laughs> yep um yeah. So yeah, and then I thought the untucked was going to be so juicy after this, and it was really disappointing. Uh, it was all, just like, all the drama was in the episode, and then all the filler yeah. stuff went in the untucked. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess this time, if you aren't watching untucked, you're not missing half the story. You're not missing anything, <laughs> actually. Well, good, uh, I didn't watch it. So <laughs> <laughs> literally, nothing happened. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I like is Angeria is so sweet when yeah. Camden didn't get the role she wanted. She was so supportive and she went over and yeah. talked to her and she said, I really do believe you're going to be awesome at this Mama Z role. And she was right. She, and, she called it. Yeah. yeah. And then Camden completely turned around. She thought about it for a second. And she's like, right. yeah, yeah, this girl's right. I'm going to rock yeah. this part. <laughs> yeah. So Let's it didn't it. take her long. She didn't get grumpy and then hold a huge grudge. She got over it right. pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah and then amber what you did miss in untucked is bosco sort of apologized for her behavior oh, kind of yeah okay. but then she did say she would do it again <laughs> right but Which she, I, she said i don't like to be that person i don't like standing yeah. in my friend's way i don't yeah. i don't like having to fight like that but i had bitch i had to do what i had to do to get that part because i and... just felt like that was what i needed to do I will yeah. say that made it a more sincere apology because it, it's her being like, listen, like I'm here to win and I did yeah. what I thought I needed to do to get another win. But yeah. I do apologize for hurting your feelings. And I it's not something I would do out of in any other circumstance. That's not a high pressure competition. Right. Um, so I was like, I thought that was really real and genuine. I was yeah. like, I see what you're saying. So 
yeah props to your mom and i, I think guess. the bad blood i think it, it was gone by the end of that yeah, yeah i'm sure yeah yeah there was definitely right. some tension when they did the the arm and the you know when they they attached arms in the challenge and yeah. it was bosco and Con- you could just yeah. feel it but that <laughs> made the performance even better better i agree <laughs> yeah. yeah they oh, brought yeah. it they brought it to the stage so <laughs> yeah all right so then we get back to placements and so camden wins I, that's i don't think you can argue against that like that was a clear like this person's winning um Daya and Willow are deemed as high. Angie, there wasn't a true safe placement, but I feel like Angie was truly just safe. I don't think she yeah. was low. I don't think she was high. She was just straight in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And that leaves low for Deja. And I believe bottom two, Bosco and George's. Yeah. I agree for most of these placements. I think though, because of the lack of energy in the performance and then the failure of the runway. Willow and Deja should switch, in my opinion. I think, yeah, I think yeah, so. granted, Deja had a weak start, but she really knocked it out of the park when she got her solo. And I feel like Willow was just kind of struggling this week, and I would have put her as low personally. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, Deja and Angie would both at least be safe, yeah, if not one of the high ones. And yeah. yeah, Willow definitely could have brought more energy. And it's in the the movement of the legs, really. Like yeah. she had the face, she had some funny expressions. Uh, but yeah, the lower half just wasn't really doing anything. And this was a yeah. stage performance. You should be moving around a bit. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. Do something. Yeah. When she, when she yeah. turned, it was such a slow turn, you yeah. know. Like, it's like yeah. a little kid on the playground that's like, wee. <laughs> yeah exactly and her mouth is moving a mile a minute but her yeah. legs are going like this and like this doesn't match <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. so. um so we get to her bottom two lip sync between bosco and george's and the lip sync is heartbreak hotel and not even just that but it's the hex hector remix i was really confused i was like <laughs> we could have done sparkling diamonds here and it would have been so perfect <laughs> and instead we chose not we chose a Whitney song. Then we chose a Whitney song that quite honestly is not that great of a lip sync choice. And then we made it a bad remix of a bad lip sync choice. I was I was appalled. I was perplexed. It's a spiral. I, was, <laughs> I was like, this is such a weird, weird choice. Yeah. The best part about this lip sync was Deja doing a performance that was better than the both of them were doing in the back. Like <laughs> There's a lot of songs that they haven't done yet that would be amazing on this show. Uh, right. So why are they scraping the bottom of the barrel? Yeah. <laughs> like, they, do they have a personal contract with Hex Hector this season? Because this is like the third remix of his that they use. <laughs> I'm like, bruh. <laughs> I think yeah. that's a big part of it. They can't get the rights to certain songs. And mm-hmm. so that eliminates a lot of the good stuff. And yeah. And then, yeah, they have relationships with other people. Sometimes they'll do a song of the guest judge that's there. Mm-hmm um yeah. so but since we don't know what the guest judge does <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe she's exactly. not a musician i'm not sure <laughs> probably not i don't think so i don't know yeah. though um and georgia's does what she does best and she performs mm-hmm. um i she clearly won this listening especially when like there was a slow part and then she like isolated each shoulder as she went down i was like Ooh, this is good. This is really good. I was like, you better work, George's. Yeah. Uh, no ghosts were injured in this lip sync. It's good to see. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I, I don't know. I, is there anything else to be said about this lip sync? No. Not really. Nothing okay. that stands out. Oh, wait. So George's wins the lip sync. And uh, uh, Bosco. We get... What? Can we talk you, about you, you the comment? Said... That Bosco makes though about Georges and RuPaul being like when Bosco is like, oh yeah, like RuPaul signed off to be Georges's organ donor, <laughs> like whatever oh, yeah. she said. I was like, oh no, my Bosco god, Bosco was mad. Yeah, <laughs> I was so mad. Um, sorry, I, yeah. was, I was gonna correct you, but you said it right. Georges wins the list. Wins the lip sync. I was yep. looking yeah. at Bosco and I'm like, wait, this is Bosco. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, Georges won the lip sync. Yeah. And then we get told that Bosco has been hiding Hakande. 
and she has to open up her bar of chocolate and it's actually the golden chocolate bar what? finally nobody is shocked Insane. nobody is shocked no way they were gonna let bosco get sent home by george's at this point and it was like <laughs> nah right. even before it was revealed i was like she has it she totally has it there's no way <laughs> like, yeah um and which kind of just proves that this twist is rigged there's no way they just held on to the same chocolate bar the whole time yeah um and but i'm okay with it because it means seattle still has a chance for the crown um <laughs> fine uh i also think this is a weird spot for georgia's because literally she can't land the bottom one more time because that would be her fifth time in the bottom yeah that's insane and that's a little ridiculous like not even camera michaels you know what i mean like it's yeah. just, um so yeah which means that next week we have a roast coming up which i'm very happy because that's actually my yeah. favorite challenge with sides of risical and i'm glad right. they're getting back to back um mm-hmm. oof. I don't That's, know how this is gonna go. Right, I'm interested. This will be a good one for sure. And they're roasting Ross Matthews, which is there's so much material there. Mm-hmm. Like you could joke about the lack of testosterone. You could talk about how he looks like a tiny little hamster. You could talk about like there is so much there that we're not <laughs> using, or I hope someone uses. Yeah. Um, and. I think Georgia's might be in trouble next week because she's not funny, right? No. She's not. And I'm a little worried about Bosco because in the preview, she made a joke about uh, being being in the bottom and, mm-hmm. and it every, it was like one of those like flatline jokes. I and- <laughs> do think that might be a red herring lead because Bosco is good at improv because she did really great with the drag con panel and she made a lot of zingers and jokes in there and they so do I, that a lot in previews they make mm-hmm. you think something's gonna be a yeah. certain way yeah. and then when the actual air Never. shows she'll say something hilarious right after yeah. that <laughs> so yeah. you're right we have no idea i i think she'll at least be fine i think the people who are gonna do well this challenge bosco i think is gonna do okay or at least good um yeah Camden I think Camden was really good in the reading challenge so I do think she'll do well here as well um Deja yeah I don't know I think the bottom two might be Deja and Georges oh that'd be interesting which I could see that uh you never know it depends on what mood deja is in she had a little bit of funny commentary when the queens were all lip syncing and she was sitting on the couch all comfortable yeah yeah Uh, but it depends when you've got all those lights on you and everybody's watching and they're expecting you to be funny some people freeze up yeah Uh, Yeah. i i think willow will be a character yeah oh yeah good at written comedy so i do think she'll be in the top at the very least yeah um so yeah angie i don't know Angie's kind of hit or miss. Yeah. With that kind of stuff, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how she'll do. It's it's hard to say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as long as none of them bomb as hard as Utica, I think they will be fine. Um, <laughs> I think Angie will look fabulous. I can probably guarantee that. <laughs> yeah, very nice cocktail attire for sure from Miss yeah. Angie Repairs Ben Michaels. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and how about Daya Betty? Oof. <laughs> is that <Daya> funny <laughs> she's bitchy <laughs> right if, which if is she, half of a roast like right. she's bitchy and funny yeah <laughs> if she can connect the two then she'll be a force to be reckoned with but i don't right. know she might be one of those that go too far with the bitchiness and yeah. not make and it, it just funny becomes uncomfortable enough. right yeah. and then you're yeah. like kind of cringing like ooh. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, as long as nobody has a Will Smith reaction, I think we'll all be fine. I was just going to uh, say that, <laughs> but I didn't know if you guys saw the Oscars. I was watching live when that happened. <laughs> Were you? I, I was. Saw, I just saw the aftermath, and I was, ooh. 
they cut the audio for that whole section yeah. here in Canada. I don't know if they did in the States. They cut it for oh, the US too. Did. I had to watch an Australian clip of it. That's yeah, what I, I did. just saw it on Twitter and I was like, holy <laughs> shit. We hit yeah. pause right after that section and then watched it on Twitter to see what, what, yeah. the, actually, what he actually said. That was pretty rough. Yeah. So you yeah. don't want to to say a joke that doesn't land and that makes people feel uncomfortable you want it right. to be funny like bianca del rio can can put you right down and and you know tear you apart without hurting your feelings and being right seriously right. hurtful or yeah. i mean if we want to talk to your survivor fans courtney yates does this amazingly like <laughs> she has really biting insults but they're still funny so she gets away with it like nobody yeah. else i love uh, courtney oh my god fan fave all the time I'm yes. just so yeah there she is. <laughs> oh nice uh, <laughs> they gotta um, bring her back again because she oh didn't really have a good second go around no she so didn't i'd love to uh, see her get a third sh- chance <laughs> me too but yeah um next week's a roast and no more non-eliminations <laughs> finally thank, thank god <laughs> For one second, I thought she's going to send both of these queens home because Georges has been in the bottom for so long and Bosco has just lost so many lip syncs in a row. (laughs) I, for one second, I thought it was going to be a double sachet away, which Amber has happened in previous seasons, the odd time. Mm -hmm. It has happened. So (laughs) it's actually happened. Funny enough, it's happened every third season up until this point so it's happened really? in season 11 it's happened in season eight and it's happened in season five i so, thought this was gonna be it it was yeah. about time <laughs> i really thought i was like 14 is the one it's every three we gotta wow. do it now right <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but no so it's like I, as far as we know yeah and yeah any closing comments for this week it's kind of an open and shut challenge really yeah yeah, I don't have anything else. I think I said everything that I wanted to say. Yeah, it was another good episode. I liked it. Yeah, uh, great musical. Uh, fun yeah. episode all around. Like, yeah. both, both my boyfriend and I finished this episode being like, that was a lot of fun. Like, yeah. drama was good. The challenge was good. The runways were meh. But um, the real winners of the runways were the Eliminated Queens. Did you see this? Like, Alyssa Hunter did, like, a full, like, mirror... <laughs> like magic oh. mirror like runway oh it was so good we i'll have to go look Facebook yeah i chat, think i but... saw maddie's um, maddie's was good too yeah i and saw maddie's june's was really pretty too actually she had like a mermaid I gown that was just covered her. in okay. mirror shards it was really pretty was uh, Alyssa was Alyssa the one that had the mirror from final yeah, 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 destination yeah. too and, well, it, and it broke through her head was broken through a square yeah mirror. okay yeah. i did i did see that that was really that cool. one was really oh, cool. cool yeah, yeah. it was neat because i like that movie too final destination <laughs> <laughs> every time i drive behind like a truck of a bunch of blogs i get really uncomfortable yes. <laughs> i know that right? taylor swift's that taylor swift one that's like i've seen this film before yeah and i didn't like, like that's what i do when that happens to me i'm like Conover. yeah that's the name of it yeah <laughs> i know a lot about taylor swift don't even try <laughs> <laughs> well it's good because i forgot um, it's a cold yeah. medicine I was I happy it. for you, Miles, when she pulled out the golden chocolate bear because I know you love Bosco and she's from your your yeah. area, so I, I know <laughs> I you're rooting scared. for her. <laughs> I was real scared for a second. I was like, "But there's no way." I was like, "There's no way they're gonna let her go over George's." Uh-uh, I don't believe it. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if that was me being actually sure or just me being in denial. Either way, it worked out for me. So you know what? <laughs> <laughs> You'll take um, it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so thank you so much for listening, y'all. Uh, mm. Hope y'all have a great week. Go out there, walk some children in nature, eat some golden chocolate bars, and don't hit men named Chris unless they insult your wife. Thank you so much, y'all. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> <Thank> Bye-bye. <you. laughs> Goodbye.